Okay, so the Saints and Taysom Hill's first start smoked the Falcons 24-9. And let's start with Taysom Hill's play because I was excited to watch him play. And at the beginning, it didn't look pretty. He didn't look comfortable in the pocket. You know, he didn't do anything crazy, but it he just didn't look like he was comfortable and ready to be a starting NFL quarterback. But that changed quickly. Early in the game, you know, it wasn't, you know, his fault that they weren't moving the ball. Uh, not Kareem Hunt. Alvin Kamara dropped the screen pass in the backfield. It might not have gone anywhere anyway, but still. And then Michael Thomas dropped the pass like 15 to 20 yards down the field. So his teammates weren't really putting him in the best, best, in the best position. But they were just stagnant offense moving early. And people were talking about maybe they wanted Jameis Winston out there, I'm sure. But they got it going quickly. And Taysom Hill... He was slinging that ball. You know, he wasn't doing too many crazy stuff down the field, but he was just accurate, getting the ball to the short and intermediate passes like the Saints do. And now we see why Sean Payton wanted to put him in the starting lineup because we always knew he could play football. He was basically playing tight end and trucking people. And on his occasional throws, he was making things happen. We always knew he could play football. But could he be a starting quarterback? Now we see why Sean Payton wanted to throw him out there because... He was scrambling and picking up yards. He was hitting Michael Thomas for all types of yards. He was just getting it done against this Falcons defense. Now, let's be real. The Falcons defense aren't the best test, but he showed he's capable of being an NFL quarterback 100%. We'll have to see in the coming weeks whether he could keep it going against real good defenses, but this is a great start for him. And then the Saints defense? I've got to say, all around this Saints team, they're playing the best football in the league as we speak right now. Unless, no, they're playing the best football as we speak because this Falcons offense, for all the things you could say about the Falcons, that they choke every game, that their defense can't stop anybody, so you could say that about Taysom Hill, but this Saints team, they just shut down that Falcons offense that puts up points against everybody. I know Julio was a little hurt, his hammy was, you know, hampering him, he's been hurt a lot recently, but that Falcons offense, even with Julio hurt, they're still a threat because... Got Calvin Ridley moving the ball in those games when Julio's not doing much. Matt Ryan's had a good year himself. Hayden Hurst at tight ends is a threat. Gurley's had a comeback year. That Falcons offense is tough. They're difficult, especially in a dome. For the Saints to shut that down, that's impressive. You just got to applaud them. This Saints team is real scary right now. They could throw Taysom Hill out there at quarterback. Drew Brees, the way Taysom Hill just played, you might even see more of Taysom Hill coming at quarterback when Drew Brees gets back because... He was orchestrating some things. He was making things happen with his legs and throwing the ball. And as you know, might hate to say it, but it looks like it's over for Jason Jameis Winston getting in there. A lot of people thought when they when it was announced that Taysom Hill was starting that they were still going to throw Jason Jameis Winston out there a lot and move Taysom Hill around. But no, nah, Sean Payton wanted to see him as a true quarterback, and you see why they gave him the money because he was money today. He was making things happen. Put up enough points, kept the time of possession on his side, and this Saints team, there's no weaknesses, really. Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, and uh, the receiving core, and this defense. Now that they're locking people up, ooh, they're scary. They're looking like they're going to be number one in the NFC, and it's going to have to go through New Orleans again. And we'll see if they can take it all the way. I'm still hoping Seahawks, but Saints right now, they're the most confident, well-rounded team. They're probably going to need Drew Brees back, but. They're scary regardless whether he's there or not. Falcons, I was starting to have hope that they might come back and have a crazy turnaround and make the playoffs. And I almost almost thought when they got the ball back down 9-24, after all the crazy blown games they've had, they might finally get a comeback. But now all those hopes are done. Falcons, their season's over. They might blow it up and get rid of Matt Ryan and all that. I like Matt Ryan, but... I could definitely see them blowing it up at this point because this team just isn't working right now. That's all I got to say. Saints looking great. Falcons, it's over for them. Taysom Hill looks like a solid starter. Well, let me know what you think. Drop a comment, hit the like, and subscribe.